For the first order differential equation can be classified into a few types of base, which is a separable differential equation, linear differential equation, and homogeneous differential equation. To solve the first order differential equation can be expressed in explicit function, implicit function, or generation representation. Assalamualaikum and salam sejahtera. My name is Muhammad Firdaus bin Muhammad Azwan. My metric number is AN220036. So for the question 1, for the first derivative, first order derivative equation, we have the questions uh, L is equal to 1 over 4 and R, the resistance is equal to 8 and the power supply is 18. So therefore, we can create a equation 1 over 4 times with di over dt plus 8i equals to 18. So to make it easy for us to calculate, we'll, we will times with 4 with r and et. Therefore, we'll get di over dt plus 32i equals to 72. And for the first derivative, we need to put the exponent at the front. Therefore, we get exponent to the power of range 32 dt is equal to exponent power of 32 t. And then we gonna times with both sides. E power of uh, exponent power of 32 t times with di over dt plus exponent power of 32t times with 32i equals to exponent power of 32, 32t times with 72. So we will get range d over dt in a bracket, exponent power of 32t times with, times with i, close bracket, times with dt is equal to range 72 exponent power of 32 t dt since we need to integrate uh, exponent 32 t therefore we need to make a new equation u is equal to 32 t therefore if we if we want to make a d, uh, make a dt therefore dt will equal to du over 32 in first order differential equation, we will have a constant. Therefore, we will have exponent power of 32 equal to 72 over 32 times with exponent power of 32t plus with c. So, for next move, we will remove the, uh, the we, we will remove the exponent. Therefore, we will have exponent power of 32t over exponent power of 32t times with i is equal to 32 a 72 over 32 exponent power of 32 t over exponent power of 32 t plus with c over exponent 32 t so now we will have the answer it is equal to 9 over 4 plus c c exponent power of negative 32 t in the question they stated that if if the initial current is zero therefore we need to find the constant value which is c so if i is equal to zero therefore 9 over 4 plus c is equal to zero to find the value of c, we will get, we will only uh, switch the part the 9, 9 over 4. Therefore, c is equal to negative 9 over 4. Therefore, the initial and therefore the initial for current is 9 over 4 minus 9 over 4 exponent power of 32t. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Wan Daniel Faruqi bin Roslan. My metric number is CN220090. So I'm going to explain you the first order differentiation equation example of RL circuit. 
So as you can see, the circuit is uh, the circuit contains V, uh, R, I, V L and L. So as you can see, uh, the equation of V minus V R minus V L equals to zero, which is the Kirchhoff loop rule. Uh, which sum of potential different in a loop equals to zero. So, as you can see, v, VR is voltage drop across resistor and VL is voltage drop across inductor. So, for our first order linear, uh, the equation is L dI over dt plus Ri equals to V. So, moving on to our first step to solve this problem, L equals L D I over D T plus R over L I equals to V over L. You have to divide it by L. So you will get the equation of D I over D T plus R over L I equals to V over L, which R over L is constant. So after you get this equation, you have to integrate. You have to integrate factor. So the equation you will get is E S E integrate of R over L dt is when we integrate we will get R L over L. So the next equation is E R T over L in the bracket of D I over D T plus D R over L I if equals to V over L. So the next uh, step is to integrate it after uh, integrate it you will get E R T over L in the bracket of di over dt plus r over l i plus the bracket equals to v over l e r t over l which in this equation you will get the product rule so as you can see after that you have to solve e you will get uh, i e r t over l equals to v over l with the symbol of integrate of ERT over L DT. So after that you integrate, you will get V over L multiplied times L over R equals uh, tell ERT over L plus C which is constant. After that you will get the general solution I equals to V over R plus C E minus a uh, negative RT over R. So when we added some condition when i is 0 t equal to 0 i equals to i 0 i 0 equals to i over r plus ce is 0 which is the partial particular solution so you will get the final answer i 0 minus v over r plus c thank you that's all Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum. My name is Ahmad Zifami bin Zali. Number menteri CN220108. The introduction of second order is a mathematical equation that relates an unknown function its derivative and the independent variable. Second is the general form of a second order differential equation is where y represents the unknown function of s and a, b and c are constant. The term fs represents an any additional terms of forcing function that may be present. That's all. Thank you. Assalamualaikum. My name is Ahmad Hazi Fahmi bin Hazadi. Metric number CN220108. The example 1 for second order differential equation. The circuit has given value is resistance is 330 ohm. The inductor value is 0 0.2 Henry and capacitor is value 20 microfarad. So we use formula LD to I over DT square plus RDI over DT plus 1 over C times I equals 0. The auxiliary equation is LM square plus RM plus 1 over C equals 0. So we substitute of value L, R and C. So we get 0.2 m square plus 330m plus 50,000 we get simultaneous equation so m1 get negative 1481.22 and m2 get negative 168.78 so i equal a e m a e power by m1 t plus e e power by m2 t 
So we substitute value my and m2 is a equation. So this equation is i equal ae power by 1481.220 plus be power by negative 568.78 t. This is general solution. So we get 0 equal a plus b. So we use deficit, so the we deficit its equation get negative 1481.22 AE power by negative 1481.22 T plus negative 168.78 BE power by negative 168.78 T. So we substitute the hyper DT is 30. 30 equal negative 1481.22 AE power by negative 1481.22 by 0 negative negative 168.78 PE power by negative 168.78 by 0 so we get 30 equal equal negative 1481.22a divide 168.78b so we we use the equation a equal negative b so we substitute the equation is negative 1481.22 by negative b divide 168.78 B so we get 30 equal 1312.44 B so B equal 30 divide 1312.44 so B we get 0 0.0228 and A we get negative 0 0.0228 C so the particulation solution is I equal 0.022 C E power by negative 1481.22 T plus 0.002 C E power by negative 168.78 T. So this is final question. Thank you. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh My name is Muhammad Amir Imran And today I will show you how to solve this question well, The question is find the general solution for the circuit With the given value of inductor 5 over 3 Henry Resistance value 10 ohms Capacitor value 1 over 30 farad With supply voltage of 300 volt Alright to solve this question, first let's bring out all the information given from the question. Right. We'll be applying the formula of L d square Q over dt square plus R d, d Q over dt plus 1 over C Q equals to E T. Alright. After we substitute all the value into the formula, we find that our equation have a fraction in it. So to simplify Simplify our works, we're gonna get rid of that fraction. After we get rid of the fraction, we left with the equation of d square q over dt squared plus 6 dq over dt plus 18q equals to 180. Right, our next problem will be dealing with that equation, which is a non homogeneous equation. Right, to deal with non homogeneous equation, we'll be applying auxiliary equation, which is lm squared plus rm plus 1 over c equals to 0 all right now let's compare both equations side by side and we find that both equation is a simultaneous equation to solve this equation just simply use our calculator and we will get our m value is the same which is m1 equals to m2 equals to negative 3 right now that we find our qc value which is exponent to the power of negative 3t times c1 cos 3t plus c2 sin 3t 
Right. Next up, we'll be finding our QP value. And to find it, we'll be using undetermined coefficient method. To use undetermined coefficient method, we're going to need to differentiate our simultaneous equation to the highest order based on our original equation. So our highest order is second order. So we're going to differentiate it to the two times. So after that, we will put the differentiated equation into our formula and solve for the, all the unknown which is a b and c and after we solve the equation our a and b is equal to 0 and our c is equal to 10 so that is our qp right since we know the in order to find the general solution q is equal to qc plus qp let's put it all together so the general solution for this question is exponent to the power of negative 3t times c1 cos 3t plus c2 sin 3t plus 10. With that, we already find the general solution and we already solved the question. Lastly, for the conclusion, uh, the first order is an equation that contains derivative of one or more dependence variable. An ordinary differential equation contains only ordinary derivative. A partial differential equation contains partial derivative. For the second order, that expresses the second derivative of the dependent variable as a function of the variable and its first derivative. Uh, and more generally, generally, it is an equation involving that variable and its second derivative and perhaps its first derivative.